Wait, go. Legends racing here at the Bull Ring on this Tuesday night. Jason Galvin joining me, rejoining me, uh, after a great race in the midgets. Jason, how are you doing? Hey, Jeffrey, how are you? Well, I was just looking at the lineup. Dustin Ash starting on the front row. I think Dustin Ash has done a couple laps here at this track. Yeah, I've, I've heard that, um, that he might have at least three laps of competitive experience. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Bryn Scheidman will start on the outside row there. A lot of legend cars, a lot to keep up with. We're going to have fun in this race. Did you go through the whole lineup already? I actually didn't. Oh, okay. Because I realized there was no way I was going to get through it. But I am excited to see the double zero car, because I'm always excited to see a double zero car. But that car... Who's driving that car? Fletch Hammond. Who's Would driving you? the triple five? BJ Bowman. Green flag coming out in this 25 lapper for the legend cars. Boy, Dustin Ash got a nice clean start he on did. that one. Everybody Jeffrey. did. That was a good start for the legend cars. Shide Mantle with some contact. That was Jason Irwin that he touched with. Shide Mantle's going backwards now. Dylan Capello making the move. Underneath side mantle. You mentioned Jason Irwin in that his brother started right to the outside of him. He's Justin's trapped a little bit right now in fifth, though. Oh, slide job. Yeehaw. Here comes the 22, pushing and shoving into turn number one. Irwin holds on to it for the most part. And tire smoke. Usually when you see tire smoke in a legend race, it doesn't turn out good. Uh, Brent side mantle getting pushed around a little bit here, back to sixth. I don't think he's too happy right now. No, oh, Michael Labate is up into fifth, right in front of him. Did you just say Bobby Labonte? Yes. Good. We got a battle brewing for the lead up here. We do. Irwin starting to close in on Ash. Separating themselves from the field a little bit. Five laps into it. Boy, Jason Irwin's all over the back of Dustin Nash. Ash drives it into the corner, but Irwin gets a nice run off. Here comes Side Mantle to the inside. Let's of see if Irwin. he repays Justin. With oh, the big slide we got job the there. Contact. I think that was a bit of payback from Side Mantle. I, I think he's going to owe a lot of people if he's going to keep his list. Right, well, Dylan Capello might be next on his list, too. Well, we're going to have to keep an eye on that one. Very exciting people getting into their seats. Here comes Shide Mandel to the inside. There's still a lot of time left in this race for Brent to get back to the front, too. Well, it didn't take him long at all to kind of set sail from Capello there. That's right. I thought up front Jason Irwin was going to be able to met a better run on Dustin Ash. He got to his back bumper, but right now Dustin Ash is fending him off pretty well. Well, definitely displaying the whole catching is one thing, passing is another. Absolutely, especially on a track like this. I'm putting around a wedge in the camera. <laughs> Well, they're starting to close up on some lap traffic, so this can definitely throw a screw into those plans. Got the 89. Jim Gals is going to be the first car they come up on. Then Tom Litchie and B.J. Bowman. So far, so clean around the back stretch, catching up to the next two. I like I like triple numbers. This on the was car. this was oh. not clean as Dustin Ash takes a big shot from Jason Black. Yeehaw! Trying to get around Litchie. We might see some timber flaring after this race. Irwin now making a move under the 11 of Capella. 22 gonna follow through. Seems like a lot of people are having trouble with the 17 out there. Darryl Waltrip. Tell you what, Scheidmanel got through the lap cars a lot quicker than the leaders did. Oh man, this is exciting. 
It'd be it'd be interesting to hear what all these drivers have to say about lap traffic after this one. Yeah. Oh, we got some tight racing coming out of turn number four. Throw it three wide into turn one. The 33 trying to hold him off. Devin Mack, the 33. Robbie Guevara's in the three. Ten laps to go. Oh, trouble right here on the front stretch. Double zero goes around. Caution. Another car collected. Right behind the pole. It looks... It looks like the double zero may have gotten into the wall or something went wrong coming out of turn number four. Not happy about I'm it sorry, either. Sorry, Jeffrey. Right, sorry. I know. I know. He's not happy about it either. The double zero had 100 to one odds to win this race, and Jeffrey took him. I put ten dollars down on him, and, and it just, just didn't pay him. off. Well, he shouldn't have went on red. But Fletch <laughs> Hammond looks very upset in that car, by the way. You know, one thing, Tommy, that I think we ought to do is oh, a big thank you. To that guy right there, snapping pictures, the track photographer. Okay, maybe he's a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, John I think Bichy. he's a jack of all trades. John Bishi, thank you for letting Jason Galvin, Jeffrey Best, and myself, Tommy Mason, come in here to film the event, but also be here live. Absolutely. We had some thank fun you. in the pits earlier, getting some scoops from drivers. We did. Every one of us told us they were going to win. Yeah, it's amazing. It's Vegas. You can't be a loser, right? No. Everybody's a winner in Vegas. Until you leave. Right? <laughs> and then everybody's a loser. All right. It's amazing how that works. Ten laps to go as they come out of turn four. Dustin Ash brings them to the green with a little bit of help from Jason Irwin as they go off into turn one. Scheidmantle up high. Remember, he started the race up there and got shuffled to the back. And once again, the outside line hurts Scheidmantle, but he crosses over Justin Irwin into three and takes third right back. Oh, boy. That 98 car is driving aggressive tonight. Notice the 12's looking like he might lose his hood at some point in this race. 12 of Irwin, and notice it flapping in the wind there. The nine car resumes his spot right on the rear bumper of the 11 of Dustin Ash, but we might beat some cars up back here. Take that might and make it, we will. Oh, we almost got into it. As some bumpers linked. Three wide. 22's Smoked got a big tire rub. Oh yeah. The 21 also suffered from uh, that one. 22 is a bodies, well off the pace. I don't think he's going to complete this lap. No, I don't think he can turn. Caution flag is out. The Seven. is completely fallen on the right front tire. Yeah, we saw that going into turn one, the contact. Just, you try and squeeze so many cars into one spot, eventually it's going to hurt. Go. Dustin Ash has let it flag to flag so far. Seven laps to go. Green flag coming out, and the Irwin brothers right behind Dustin. Can they bring anything and capture the win? Lots of pushing going through turn two. Three wide down the back stretch. Scheidmantle in the middle. Boy, Brent Scheidmantle made a great move off of two there, Jeff, to get under Justin Irwin. Take back over the fourth spot. Now he can set his eyes on Capello. Jason Irwin up front. In third and second, Dustin Ash slips up the track, and here comes Irwin to the inside, looking for a first lead change of the entire race. Coming to five to go, Jason Irwin's going to go to the lead off of four, and Capello's going to follow. Wow, so Dustin Ash getting some pressure here now by Scheidmantel. Scheidmantel once again finds his way back after having a tough restart. Five to go, four at the line. This one actually being the, probably the best one for him as he made his move through that three wide. Four cars in it to win it. Ash to the inside of Capello, into one. He's going to get that spot back. Scheidmantle's going to follow. Capello gets shuffled. That opens up about a three-car length lead between Jason Irwin up front and Dustin Ash as they come off of turn four. It's going to be a three-car battle for the lead. Capello's falling off the pace. All throughout the pack, we have guys nudging, pushing, shoving. They all are trying to get everything they can get in the last three laps of this race. Here comes Dustin Ash. Ash a is big on bump a into turn three from Ash on the back of Jason Irwin. Irwin bobbles. We'll see if Ash can get there into one. I don't think so. I think he's going to try to set him up into three. Pushes the, him off into one, though. In. Look who's right there in third, the number 98, Brent Scheidmantel. You can't count him out of it. Dustin Ash to the inside. White flag's coming out this time. Ash to the inside. Scheidmantel follows. One lap to go off of turn four. Ash, your new leader. Scheidmantel's going to go to second around. Irwin, who's going to try to and get him back. Dice. 
Dustin Ash, nobody can say he got this one easy. He had to work his way back up to the front. Coming out of turn number four, the checkered flag is all his. Dustin Ash gonna win the legend race. What a race that was. What a finish. Wow. The fans all appreciating that one. That was a good show. That is what Saturday night short track racing on a Tuesday is supposed to look like. That's exactly it right there. I think I could get used to this. Yep. Dustin Nash celebrating here on the front stretch in front of a, I want to say standing room only cloud. Want to buy a race car? He almost got in trouble. I'm pretty sure it's got insurance. <laughs> That's the national car, not the base car. <laughs> you got to be careful though, right? <laughs> Tommy, we just looking back at that race, Dustin Nash was running away with it, but never really lost any pressure from behind. Absolutely. He had to hold them off the entire race. He did, and then of course, when he fell back a little bit, he had to work really hard, cool. extra credit to him for making it a return up to the front and holding them off. Fell all the way back to third with just a handful of laps to go. Dustin Ash, your winner. Great race.